These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for June the 5th, 2022. The blog post this week is my timeline of events 1900 to 2021. It's part two covering 1910 to 1919. Second in a series of 12 posts. The pitch. If you want to change the world, you have to know what's happening and the ideas behind those events. The request. Tell me if you see errors or omissions. This series will come out as a book of 100 pages or so at the end of the summer. There are more details about it in the blog post. Second recommendation, Badger Clark, the Westerner. This was one of Ayn Rand's favorite poems. This and the next two recommendations are from the years 1910 to 1919. Art-wise, it was a very good decade. My father sleep on the sunrise plains, and each one sleeps alone. Their trails may dim to the grass and rains, for I choose to make my own. I lay proud claim to their blood and name, but I lean on no dead kin. My name is mine for the praise or scorn, and the world began when I was born, and the world is mine to win. They built high towns on their old log sills, where the great slow rivers gleamed, but with new live rock from the savage hills, I'll build as they only dreamed. The smoke scarce dies where the trail camp lies till the rails glint down the pass. The desert springs into fruit and wheat, and I lay the stones of a solid street over yesterday's untrod grass. I waste no thought on my neighbor's birth or the way he makes his prayer. I grant him a white man's room on earth if his game is only square. While he plays it straight, I'll call him mate. If he cheats, I drop him flat. Old class and rank are a worn-out lie, for all clean men are as good as I, and a king is only that. I dream no dreams of a nursemaid's state that will spoon me out my food. A stout heart sings in the fray with fate, and the shock and sweat are good. From noon to noon, all the earthly boon that I ask my God to spare is a little daily bread in store, with the room to fight the strong for more, and the weak shall get their share. The sunrise plains are a tender haze, and the sunset seas are gray. But I stand here, where the bright skies blaze over me and the big today. What good to me is a vague may be, or mournful might have been? For the sun wheels swift from morn to morn, and the world began when I was born, and the world is mine to win. And now for something completely different, but also from the decade of the 1910s. P.G. Wodehouse, Damsel in Distress, a novel from 1919. No summary can convey how hilarious Wodehouse is, so I'll just give you the premise. Wealthy American composer of musical comedies falls in love with the girl who leaps into his London taxicab, who, as it turns out, is in love with a different American of whom her noble English family strongly disapproves. The novel was filmed as a silent movie in 1919, turned into a stage play in 1928, and in 1937 was adapted into a musical film starring Fred Astaire, Joan Fontaine, George Burns, and Gracie Allen, with music and lyrics by George and Ira Gershwin. The movie only loosely resembles the book, but if you like the big band era, tap dancing, Gershwin tunes, and elegance, I recommend it. The fourth recommendation this week for my supporters is a sculpture by Daniel Chester French, one of his more gorgeous ones, and he did a lot of gorgeous ones. Diane Durante Writer has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, architecture, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianedurantywriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.